No, I don't want to know his opinion. It's just gonna be insulting. <laughs> My point Just is this, Rick. Was looking at you. My point is this, Rick. We used to be able to decide what the content of this show was. I know. Now it's him. It's just him. He wants to do rock busters. He gets to do it. I know. And it's it's awful, rock that, 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 Tourette's Trent Darby. Not only is that offensive, it doesn't work as a clue. Saying that, have you come up with anything for this week? What's the prices? Oh, we get the prices. We've got uh, a brand new XFM, uh, stylish XFM uh, DJ bag. That is actually nice. quite nice, actually. Yeah, we've got in there a uh, 12 inch from uh, the XFM remix album. This has got the Cure on there and the Prodigy remixes from them, which is uh, quite handy. We've got a little mm. mouse mat there with the XFM logo on. And here's what everyone's waiting for the CDs and DVDs. Yeah. Um, once again, the X list. This is the compilation that XFM have put out. It's actually very good. Uh, Smash Hits, The Reunion. Let me see what we've got in there. Aha, obviously, Wham, Duran Duran, all your favourite 80s and 90s classics. Another copy of DVD, uh, Steve Coogan's, Coogan's Run DVD. What else is this here? Low Fidelity All Stars, blah, 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 blah. There's some, there's Voodoo House and Ghost Funk on there, Rick. I'm sure oh, that'd be right up your street. And, uh, also on DVD, Man Is that Child. with or without Wrecked Train? <laughs> uh, so yeah, not, not a bad little selection there, Carl. You're, yeah, you're you've done well there. Done well. So go on and do the clues then. Let's do Rockbusters now. Well, I'll, I'll bung a song on. And we'll, we'll, well, yeah. I love the fact that he was taking the piss out of your voice. I'll bung a song on. <laughs> hey, it's tribe and cowheels tonight. Uh, now as griddling as gravy. <laughs> to be honest, to Carl, let's be honest. If Ricky Gervais can get voiceover work, do you know there's I mean? got to be a place for me. Where do you think the place for him is? Well, look, right. You were talking about your face on the poster. <laughs> it's not all bad because I read something last night that can help you out. <gasps> right, and it's amazing. So we're talking about that. Fair record, Carl. Warren Zevon ain't that pretty at all on it, okay? 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Right, Carl, calm now. The Sonys, they're listening. We've got to win this award. We're just bickering, right? What, what's this thing that can help Steve out? What are you talking no, about? No, no, we'll talk about that in a bit. What are we doing now, We'll then? do, we'll do Rockbusters. Get that up and running. Yes, sir. Get the email busy. Thank yeah? you, sir. <laughs> yeah, right. okay. Go on in. Right, so... You know how it works. Cryptic clues, initials. Well, as I say, I say every week, they're not they're not strictly cryptic. It's more what am I thinking that starts with these letters? Some cryptic a word. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a word? Cryptic? Because <laughs> oh. anyway, oh god. So last week, uh, one of them was these people from the East Midlands can't help swearing. Yeah, something. Tourette's Trent Darby. Tourette's Trent That's Darby. That's the sort of shite we're dealing with to try and get a Sony. Right, so, uh, here's the clues and that. <laughs> First one. And that. Um, what are we after here? The artist? Yeah. The band name or solo artist? It's, uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay. Right. Go on. Uh, so the first one, the, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. <laughs> Got it, what's the initials? The H, right? The hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. Yeah. Right? Second one. Don't be selfish. And some of it out to your mates. Right. The initial there is C. Right. Yeah. Don't be selfish. And some of it out to your mates. Uh, on the I'm third sure that's one. that's not what is Carl, he's selfish. No. Nope. Begins with C. Right. <laughs> and, and the third one, the Scottish fellas can't get into their emails. <laughs> right, right, okay. The, the Scottish, Scottish fellas can't get into their emails. Go on then. Right, the initials there, KL. Right, so quickly again, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car, VH. Yeah. Don't be selfish, and some of that out to your mates. That's right. C. This is your last chance, Carl. And the Scottish fellas can't get into their emails. If I hear anything like Wet Knee Houston or D Trout Spinners or Tourette's Trent Derby coming out of this, we're never doing it again, okay? Again. Right, the first one was, uh, the hitchhiker needs a lift, but in something bigger than a car. Yeah, snappy, go on. VH. Yeah. Right, that was Van Halen. Van Halen. Halen a van. Because he wanted something bigger than a car, that's the, that's the first one. Yeah. Uh, All the tenses one. are mixed up, <laughs> everything, it's just, look, uh, go on. Uh, second one, don't be selfish, uh, and some of that out to your mates, that was C, that was Cher. Right. It's alright. Yep. And the third one, uh, the Scottish fellas can't get into their emails. The initials there, KL. They, uh, Kenny Logins. Right. <laughs> right. That's, that's the last time we do Blockbusters. That no. is the last time we do it. No, no. It is. Who's that's the, the last time. It's, it, give it, give it, give the prize to someone. Kenny Logins. Uh, I'm gonna give that one to Kenny uh, Logins. Have you got monkey news for this week? Uh, don't know if I wanna do it this week. So. Just, just cause breakfast do it and that. 
and uh, just just leave it maybe this week. See what happens. See if we need it. See, we'll see. I, sometimes I don't know. Play a record a minute, Carl. I want to talk to I'll talk to you off air. Play a record. What? What's the what's the what's the uh, email address again? Ricky at xfm dot co uk. Okay, right? that's where the email the answers in. So we got to, we've got to remind you to show it is. Play a record. Right. <laughs> Stop my head, Ivan Danbo on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, and with me, arguing like nutters, are <laughs> Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Okay, alright? Calm down. Right. Right, let's just chill. Let's okay. just chill. Yeah, right. D what did you do last night, Rick? Uh, I watched I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. I tried last week, I knew Tuffner was gonna come through. Mm. I knew he was. I went went to put a bet on and it was eleven to four and I thought, oh that's not worth it. I could put on four hundred quid and I reckon I'd have won eleven hundred because I reckon he's gonna win. Yeah. So, Just, uh, that is annoying. I suppose if you could go back in time you'd probably change things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'd do if I could go back in time? I'd go back in time, stop Hitler from being born. <laughs> <laughs> but then it might be worse because someone else might have come along and he'd been even better. It's like a novel. <laughs> yeah, you're like right. Ben Alton would write a novel yeah. like that or something, wouldn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that, our things would be different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, popped to the cinema last night and it was a joy of an experience because for what the first time I wanted to see X-Men 2. I, I want to see that. Yeah, really I saw one. I, I didn't, I don't like that sort of thing. I've never been a comic book, never been a, um, a geek like yourself. Not yourself, yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. but I mean, you're not a geek in that. In that sense, a different. I mean, not in the traditional sense. No, 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 no. I'm, no. One, I'm one of those sexier geeks. Like yeah, modern sexy geeks. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed it, and two's meant to be even better. Isn't it? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, it's good fun. But uh, the, but more so than the film was the fact that the actual cinema experience for the first time in a long time I actually enjoyed it because I just Honestly, had such a problem with the cinema. Well, I, I can't go. I have to wait about three weeks that dies down and go in the afternoon. I can't be sat next to people. I I don't know why people go to the cinema to eat. Ha have some before you go in there. Yeah. Rattling, crunching. What? Why? Why is this experience? This this film has cost fifty million pounds. Mm. It's meant to be an emotional, artistic experience. It's not meant to be something that's on while you're chowing down. Yeah. I don't know. Then, but people leave their mobile on. I want when someone answers it. You go. I can't talk now. I, mean, I want to go. Don't, don't even smack them on their face with it. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I, uh, I went to, to the cinema a while back to see Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Oh, yeah. That art house film. And, um, a woman sat next to me, huge fat blubber of a woman. But she's, it's up to her, she's earned enough money, she can eat more than she needs. Sure, but don't squeeze into a seat next to me in the cinema, <laughs> right, with your flesh, you know, curving over the armrest that we're having to share. Oh, right, God. next to her, a little we weasel of a husband. She's got one of those huge, kind of, um, hog-sized barrels of popcorn. <laughs> you don't reckon he was one of them feeders? It was very similar. It oh. really was. She's, she's, she, as you say, she's chowing down on the, uh, on the popcorn. She is one of those women who, uh, she's not come out to see a film, she's come out to eat, and if a film happens yeah. to be showing, then she'll watch it. Yeah. Really wounds me up. He's got the hot dog and everything. She's eating, and now popcorn already annoys me because and I she don't... goes to him, are you gonna eat that? He goes, well, I was thinking of it. Look at me to me. Look at me But I don't know why it was that popcorn became the thing you eat in the cinema. It's like you say, you've made these films, and someone's there thinking, well, we've made this great film, we've got the sound mix right, but what we need is something that will just slightly uh, irritate everyone yeah. during uh, the film. And just see the, the size, the just see the size of the buckets they yeah. go in there with popcorn. But and why not serve soup or something? Or, or yogurt? Oh, the slurping would drive me mad. But and and the spoon touching the, the, the bottom of the thing would drive me mad. Don't serve anything. There's no reason you have to do this in and go, oh god, I need to eat. Well, this eat was- plan it. You don't- you don't go and play tennis eating what- you- you plan it, don't you? Well, what? exactly. <laughs> exactly. Eat before you come out. Yeah. Have a sandwich. Have a cornbread sandwich. Do you know what? Right. Out. What annoyed me is I found out I in uh, across America when they showed Schindler's List, they banned popcorn, yeah. right, out of respect to the film. What? So they're saying all oh, the other films? Oh, sod it. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, this one cost hundred million. Ah, it doesn't matter. You can eat popcorn through that. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, ban it through all films. Well, this woman was one of those ones. She may as well have had a trough <laughs> in front of her. <laughs> I mean, she was a state, right? Oh, and she's doing God. It. She's an idiot as well. Because the trailer comes from, I remember at the time, the trailer came on for AI, that film AI. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I don't know if you've seen the trailer for it, but it's something like, I don't know exactly, but it's something like, uh, um, Martin is a, uh, six year old boy. Yeah, he's, 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 he's 20 he's kilograms, yeah, he's, he's three foot high, yeah. He's, 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 but he is, but he is not human. Yeah. He's a robot. Yeah. And she's watching, she's just, go, she's just watching that, right? Bear in mind, the point of the trailer, he's a robot. Yeah. She says, how old was he again? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to slap her. I was livid. I went, he's a robot. He's a robot. That's what's important. 
She, she says, uh, a trailer comes <laughs> on for a war film, she goes, I shan't be seeing that. She just announces it, I shan't be seeing that. And I'm bored with war films. <laughs> bored with them next. Oh, God. And, tra- and then, so the, um, the, the title card comes up for Crash and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. You know, like, at the beginning, they yeah. do everything. Yeah. It comes up, Crash and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Now, she's in the cinema, she goes, what a stupid name for a film. <laughs> I was thinking, but well, you paid to see it. And, and then oh. it says subtitles in brackets. She goes, oh, it's not subtitled, is it? <laughs> so it comes on, and I think, I, in in the film, I think they speak maybe Mandarin or, or Chinese or something. I'm not sure, but, but let's say it's Mandarin. So they come on, they start, and it's all subtitled, and they start speaking in this, uh, in this, uh, Mandarin or, or Chinese. And, uh, she just starts going, I think Cheng Chong, I think Cheng Chong. I think Cheng Chong, Cheng Chong. In the cinema, just saying that out loud. No. Like, she and her boyfriend are cracking up. They're weeping with laughter, right? And I'm trying He's to watch He's got to laugh, film. otherwise she bites him. <laughs> exactly. So, um, so I'm actually, I'm so livid, so I really make a show of getting up with all my stuff, I get up and I kind of clamber over some of the seats. Yeah. I sit down next to these two teenage girls with the mobile phone. Oh, God. The mobile phone goes off and like you say, instead of, I mean it should have been off anyway. Yeah, of course. But let's say, instead of it being, uh, instead of immediately thinking, oh God, and, and switching it off hurriedly, they take the call in the cinema, I'm in the cinema, yeah, no, I'm in the start so having a conversation. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, you're 16, unless that is your business partner in Hong Kong phoning <laughs> you, saying the deal is not gonna go through, which I suspect it's not. I suspect it's probably Gareth, or Gavin, <laughs> or your boyfriend Tony saying, do you wanna do me behind the bike sheds later? <laughs> yeah. I suspect that's who it is. Yeah. Switch off the phone, or very least, get out. I know. Get out of the cinema. But I just, I, I can't, I mean, I don't know where these people were brought up or raised. I don't know who it was that, that told them this was this was this was behaviour that you but could do. I, 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 I really want to have cinema police. Yeah. Right. You go in there, and if the, they, you, if the phone goes off, you get your money back, and you're asked to leave yeah. straight away. Straight away. Any whispering, go. If you whisper again, you know. Yeah. If you're too stupid to be able to, to figure to, it out. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, they they tell you what age you should be. Right to get that film. Yeah. That's it. If you listen and you're not eating and you're not talking, then you should be able to get a film.